I speak to you pastors? There is no bigger anointing and no smaller anointing. Everyone is standing on the grace of God. What you have been called to do, you have been called by grace to do what you are doing. If in the eyes of men it seems small, believe you me, in the eyes of God it is big. What you have been called to do is big. It only needs you to follow the instructions of God. Following the instructions of God is like stupidity. Hmm? Because you are following things that people are not seeing. You even speak things that people are not seeing. Some things when you tell people, they just look at you like they are out of this world, they are in another world, you are in another world. But don't stop, don't be tired of saying what God wants you to say. Say it, tell them. If God say you must tell them you are going to prosper, tell them you will prosper, that says the Lord. If God tells you you are healed, tell them you are healed, that says the Lord. Believe in the words that God is giving unto you. Are you believing pastors? God is ready for those who are saying, I don't care what they say. I don't care what they do. I don't care if they go out or they go in. But the issue, I'm called here. I've got a job here. I have to do what God has sent me to do here. I have to do according to what God has told me to do here. And I'm going to fulfill whatever that I've been called to come and fulfill. Don't allow the devil to make your ministry to be premature. Premature in this way. When you are saying it's about to, then everything just falls away. And you cannot even account of what happened and what is happening. But let me tell you, if you trust in the Lord, if you believe in the Lord, I am a living testimony. God can do things for you that you never thought he could do. God can raise you in such a way that people, when they look at you, they will be amazed. But trust in the God that has sended you. Can you tell the pastor that is close to you, trust in the God that called you. Tell the person again, trust in the God that has called you. Because some of us now, we are starting to believe in other gods that we don't even know. Can't the God who said, I've called you, is up in heaven. If things are not going your right way, ask him. Go to him. Father, I'm lost here. Help me out. And if he needs to send you to somebody, he will send you to somebody. Go away, 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 away. You will get help, then you'll come back. That's how our God works. Don't go out of the way of your calling. This is high time. Jesus is coming back. So we need soldiers of the cross in the kingdom. We need people who will stand for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Can you ask the person that is close to you, do you want to stand for the kingdom?